Welcome back guys. In this lecture, we'll see something about SEO, which is search engine optimization. That is basically to improve your ranking on social search engines like Google or Bing or so on and so on. So let's get started. To get started, open your dashboard in a new, in a new tab. And now again, we have to install a new plugin for this. So how our plugins click on add new. And in here, search for Yoast. Okay, here it is Yoast SEO by Team Yoast. This is by far the best plugin for, you know, SEO. As you can see, more than 13,000 people have rated and that too, it is a five star, five star rated uh, product, five star rated plugin and more than 1 million active installs at present. So this is an amazing plugin, no doubt. So just click on install now. Now click on activate. Okay. Now again, you will see a new thing, a new tab over here, which says SEO. Just click on that. Okay. Here it is. It's, it says uh, zero problems, which is fine. Uh, notification uh, not uh, needed right now. Just click on general. Here you'll get an option called open the configuration wizard. Click on that. Now you have two options. Uh, you have to select this one. Configure Yoast SEO in a few step. Now here the environment, you have to select the environment. Three options, production, uh, staging, development, uh, development is when the site is running locally for development purposes. Staging is a copy of site used for testing purposes and production when the site is live with uh, real traffic. So our website is at production stage. So select production, click on next. Now you have to select the type of the website, whether it is a blogging website, whether it is a web shop. Web shop is basically e-commerce website. So we have to select the web shop. Click on next. Whether it's a company or a person, ours is a company. We'll select uh, Blog to Incorporation. You have to choose an image, a company logo. Let's select any image, a short image if you have. Okay, this one. Select your logo, your company logo. Click on choose an image. Click on next. Now put in your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you're using, Google plus uh, YouTube URL. And don't, don't ever underestimate any of these steps. Don't think, oh man, this is not important. A uh, Facebook URL is not important or this is not important. This is really important. Uh, all these steps that are over here, it is not like, you know, they have just given you some random shit. These things are really important. Uh, it is uh, really connected to the SEO stuff so make sure you put all your urls here okay now after you do so click on next then it is post type visibility the first one is the post type post should be visible or hidden means the post type which is post which is basically your blogs whether you want to visible or hide them on you know search engine so obviously we want it to be visible well, what should be the, there for your pages, whether you want to show your pages uh, on search engines or not. For example, we created about us, contact us page. So obviously we want them to be visible on search engines. Uh, if you want, you can also make visible for media. You can also hide them. If you have any products, uh, here is the main thing. Products, we want this to be visible. Okay, this is the main thing. Make sure it is visible for products. The most important thing. Okay, so once you have done this setting, Click on next. Okay, so it asks whether it has multiple authors. Does or will your site have multiple authors? If you think yes, in the future you have more author, then select yes. If no, then no. Then click on next. Okay, now you have to get a, a Google authentication code. So just click on this. Okay, select your account. Click on allow. Just copy this code. 
paste it over here. Now click on next. And now you have to select the uh, separator. For example, come back to your website. And here at the top, you see the title which says e-commerce website. At present, the separator is a pipe and you can select this dash, big dash, so on. So let's select this one, the small dash and click on next. You can have any kind of separator. It's just uh, separates your website name with the product name or page name, whatever it is. Now click on next. Now you can sign up for the newsletter if you want. You know, if you don't, then just click on next. Okay, now you have some options. Basically, it is just, you know, some ads from Yoast. If you want to upgrade to premium, you can click on this. If you want to learn how to write copy that rank, you know, whatever it is, you have different courses, free courses, I guess, on YouTube. So you can watch those videos if you want. Uh, after that, just click on next. It says you're done it. You have done it. So just click on close. Now come back over here in the webmaster tool and here we have to uh, uh, add a Google search console. So just open new tab, uh, search for Google console. Okay, search for Google search console, okay. Fine. Now here you'll see this link, Google Webmaster Tools. Click on that. Okay. Now here if the your website and obviously you won't see your website because you haven't created that. So click on add a property and just copy your website link, paste it over here, click on add. Okay, now we have different options through which, you know, you can uh, uh, connect your Yoast uh, from this Google search console with this one. You no, know, so we have many different options. Just click on the first one, HTML tag, the most easy one. Now here you'll see something called content is equal to then quotations. Under quotations, you have some code. So you have to just copy those code, which is under quotation. But I think you cannot copy when you click on that, everything is selected. So just do one thing, copy everything, open a new tab, paste that over here. And from here, you will be able to copy this portion. So just copy this portion, which is under content. Click on control C, come back over here, paste it over here, click on save changes. Okay. Once you do so again, come back over here on the uh, console page and click on verify. Okay, so it should say this message, uh, congratulations, you have successfully verified your ownership of your website and you'll see your website link over here. So we have successfully done that. Uh, the most important thing, this was the most important step. Now let's see how to set up uh, or how to increase the uh, search engine optimization of our products. For that, how are products, click on add product, all products. Now select any one of the product. For example, let's select this one, men's blue short sleeve. Now scroll down. Now here you'll see one new uh, uh, box over here, which is Yoast SEO. Okay, you're getting a snippet preview of how your product or how your link for this product will look like on Google. Okay, you can select mobile. So this is how it will look on mobile. If you select desktop, this is how it will look on desktop. Now we have to select one focus keyword. Basically a focused keyword should be uh, like, you know, let me show you. For example, it is men's blue short sleeve. So what you can select is blue short sleeve. This might be, this can be your focus keyword. So now you have this, you know, analysis section where you have different dots, red dot, uh, orange dot, green dot. Basically we have to turn all this thing into uh, green dot. So we, uh, we have turned two things into green dot. The first one is focus keywords appears in the URL for this page. What does this mean? We have selected a focus keyword over here and this is the URL of our, uh, of our page of our product. So as you can see, blue short sleeve is there. 
uh, this is a focus keyword it is present in the permalink so that is what it means okay and second one is you have never used this focus keyword before very good this is basically because this is the first product on which we are working uh, for SEO optimization now let's see other thing now this one which is a red dot it says no meta description has been specified search engines will display copy uh, from the page instead okay so what you can do is just click on this edit snippet and you can have meta description just copy something from here and paste it over here okay when it turns red it means that uh, you have uh, you have to decrease the size for this okay okay so this is uh, how this is uh, the length of meta description that you should have now as you can see the meta de description is um, available uh, and you can see it on the snippet preview okay once you do so cl click on close snippet editor now we have the third thing also green which says the length of the meta description is sufficient now let's see the another dot which we have to work on the focus keyword doesn't appear in the first paragraph of the copy make sure top is clear immediately okay so basically the focus keyword should be available on over here okay so let's add anywhere over here and obviously it should make sense i'm just showing you for the sake of showing but you have to see where does this thing fit and it should make sense the sentence should make sense Okay, so let, we have put this thing over here. Now again, we have turned one more thing uh, green, which is very, very awesome. We are going good. Now again, there's a red dot which says a meta description has been specified, but it does not contain the focus keyword. So this is our focus keyword. We did enter a meta description, but it doesn't have the focus keyword. So let's replace this thing with our focus keyword. Okay put a full stop at the end click on close snippet editor and now boom we have five green dots so we are really going good it says no internal links appear in this page consider adding some as appropriate so what this means is you know you have to link something uh, to your to your page internal link internal link is basically when you click on that link it will redirect you to different page or different product which is available on your own website okay on the same website or uh, and external link are basically when you click on that link you will be redirected to another website so that is internal and external link so how to do that for example here it is written typewriter so you can select this you can you have insert or edit link click on that and you can paste a url okay so let's add this url the main website uh, url and click on apply okay now we have added an internal link on this website and again now we see six different green dots which is awesome the keyword density is 0.4 percent which is too low the focus keyword was found one time okay so basically what it means is the focus keyword should be you know available uh, at several places for example let's add over here so now we have two then we can add over here we have three now let's again come back now it has the keyword density is now 1.1 percent so out of this content one person content uh, con uh, has our focus keyword which is very fine which is very good now let's see this thing this orange marks which says that okay fine it is good but it is not best you have to turn this thing into green which is the best practice with best seo practice so let's we don't want good we want the best so we'll turn all these things also into green the next thing is the text contains 267 words this is slightly below the recommend uh, recommended minimum of 300 uh, words add a bit more copy okay so we have to add uh, some more text over here so just copy this thing again paste it over here now again come back 
okay now it says the text contains 370 words uh, 374 words which is above the minimum of 300 words so again we have a new success now let's move on to another point it says the images of this page are missing uh alt attributes so basically what it means is you know let's see let's let's see we have an image over here so let's click on this image and here besides image you have caption all text description so you have a title which is good you also have to have a caption so basically caption you might have seen in different news uh, news websites if you have seen when you have an image like this for example this is the image the in the caption in below this image it will be written uh, this is a beautiful girl or she is uh, Taylor Swift or she is so on and so forth so that is what uh, a caption is which says you about this image okay so you have to put a caption for this image so this image is selected and make sure you do this for all the images which you have used in your website then there is alt text you what is an alt text suppose someone is using a very slow internet and what happens is you know while he's uh, visiting your website the image doesn't load because he's using a very slow internet so instead of this image he will see this text so image won't be shown but he'll see some text so that is alt text now you have to write some description about this image so you can write some description about this image okay so make sure you select all these images and you fill everything title caption alt text description okay once you do so click on set product image now again that thing has turned green which is again awesome okay where is it yeah here it is the images on the page contains alt attributes with the focus keyword so this is awesome now here it is no outboard outbound link appears as i said we have two kind of link we have already had an inbound link now let's have an outbound link okay so let's select some something some you know some word or uh, and let's link it to outbound for example let's select this word click on link and uh, let's link this to wordpress.org don't just link you uh, to any random website make sure you're linking to a very strong website wordpress.org is a very strong website you can link it to youtube or so on you can uh, for example suppose you're talking about your product and you want to say that you know what i have a, a video on this product so you can watch that video on youtube and you can give that link so basically your this link will redirect to youtube which is a very strong website so make sure you you know have an outbound link for a very strong website not just any xyz website okay now come down and only one thing is left now the seo title is too short use the space to add variation or create compelling call to action copy okay so this is the title now again click on edit snippet okay so basically it is uh, at present everything is set to you know everything is set to default which is the first the title will be there then page name will be there then date will be there uh, and then site name will be there you can have uh, you know a custom title for example let's have this title you know click on this title and add something more best shirt or best blue shirt because you wanna use this uh, terms again and again best blue short sleeves sorry shirt available in the market okay so this title does make sense and it is also bigger just keep this to available basically you have to turn this thing into green okay now click on close now as you can see everything is turned to green now it says seo thing is good but readability it needs improvement because you know all these words i don't know which language is this so you have to use basic english language and you have to use some really basic uh, words you don't have to use some you know tough words basically you have to have uh, the description uh, wherein everyone can read something easily even a school guy can understand what you're talking about so if you do so after that your readability will increase 
okay once you're done with all the changes click on update and you have successfully boosted and increased the seo power of this product now your product has become really strong seo is very 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 important companies charge thousands of dollars just for making this thing the same they use the same plugin and this is how they will do everything and they charge a lot of money for that so after watching this tutorial i hope you guys uh, you get a lot of help and this uh, tutorial helps you and you are saving indirectly you're saving a lot of money so just for this i hope you guys will give a five star rating to this course because i have used and i have put in a lot of efforts in making this course and i'm also providing these bonus lectures to you which will be very beneficial for you not only for this website but for any website which you make in future so i hope you guys have enjoyed this lecture take care and i'll see you guys in the next lecture probably the last lecture okay so see you soon